is my third video I've filmed in a row now, so if you see me in the same outfit, I gotta reapply some lip gloss. Okay, in this video, we're gonna read some of Nicole State's recent reviews. The bad reviews are coming in. The bad reviews cannot be deleted anymore. It's a wonderful fucking thing. People can finally see what a shitty seller she is. So let's read some of them. Two stars. I won a buyer's giveaway for a lounge fly bag from Nicole State and never received it. I reached out to Nicole to make her aware after waiting almost an entire month. Someone responded to my message and blamed USPS for losing it when I could see on the tracking USPS had never received the item. Then they sent a Loungefly wallet instead of the Loungefly bag that she had mentioned throughout her live. Then as soon as they responded to my message, they blocked me. It is very unprofessional for a seller to block a buyer just for reaching out to see if an item is being sent. I would never buy from her again. Buyers should check YouTube and do their research before buying from Nicole State. So once again, just to remind you guys for the millionth fucking time, Nicole State prints her labels right after her show because she gets paid when she does that. But when you check tracking, it's gonna say that the label was printed at the exact like fucking minute that Nicole State ends her shows. 1.5. Not at all what is expected for this much money. Shipping takes forever and she has shill bidders for the nice prizes since she tells her friends which numbers are the big prizes. Never would have spent a dime had I known this ahead of time. 3.5 stars. Most of these things you can buy on Amazon for $10. By the time you spend 30 plus on a number, you could have just gotten that item on sale on Amazon and guarantee you got the item you wanted. There's always going to be more floor items than there are the big wins. It's a gamble and that's the whole point, but save your coin from this one. Do your research on people you're buying from. One star, terrible seller. Blocks because reviews are honest about her unnecessarily slow shipping. Can't take honesty. Be better at your job. Why doesn't Nicole State ship on time? She had an excuse before because she went and had all her reviews deleted. That's what was taking up most of her time, but now that she can't do that, she should have time to ship things on time. All of these reviews that I'm reading are within the last few days, just to let you guys know that. Two stars. I almost stopped even considering shopping with whatnot after this experience. I bid on Disney backpacks, but I wouldn't know which one I got until they drew numbers or somehow matched up the bidders with their backpack. I normally try to settle a limit of $20 for myself and stay with a budget unless it's something exceptional. And I was absolutely frustrated and angry beyond words when I received a little keychain in instead of a backpack. I'm still really angry. I've shopped with some other vendors and realized they aren't all like that, but it's not clearly explained and I would never have spent $35 gambling on a prize. And I think it's unfair to make the process vague. Two other people joined in when I questioned it and said they were lost too. So it was not just me. And a $35 keychain of Neptune, seriously, be sure what you're bidding on. This is an instance of the person bid on something. They had no clue what the fuck they were bidding on. They tried to get an explanation from Nicole and she probably vaguely described it like, because she doesn't like to do that like in the middle of her show. Like if you're not there at the beginning of the show and she explains it, even then it's not fully explained but if you're not there at the beginning and you ask like throughout the show she gets like madder and madder and doesn't like explaining it more than once 2.5 stores not sure stores <laughs> 2.5 stars not what I thought I was bidding on would not have bid at all knowing it wasn't for the actual wallets would never have bid that high knowing what I would have received rip off two stars poorly packed my collectible pop box was damaged 1.2 stars it did not receive the bag I won and just got sent a book that wasn't Ever the one I was told I won. Here's a recent bad review for Jen Deals. One stars. Wow, I won a face mask when she wasn't even selling anything and now I'm blocked by this person. I can't buy anything more from her because she blocked me for no reason. Rude. Let's check out Mariel's closet. I haven't talked about her in a minute. Let's see if she's got any bad reviews recently. See, something like this, this uh, this isn't the seller's fault. I don't think I'm not defending Mariel at all, but I've gotten reviews like this where Somebody bought something that didn't fit, so they gave you like a lower rating. It's like, it's not the seller's fault. You know, it's the company's fault for not making like consistent sizing. But this is 4.5 stars. Unfortunately, both of my items did not fit. Going to post them in my bin. So that's not really her fault. Let's see if there's any other good ones. There's gotta be, cause she's, <sighs> oh, here we go. I only scrolled like two seconds. One stars. I hate doing one star reviews. The item was missing so much of the rhinestones. It was awful. Please always describe when there are flaws. This was unacceptable. And right next to that, a three-star review. One pair is used and scratched up. One pair I cannot get the huge sticker off the boot. May I suggest putting stickers on the bottom? If no boxes are available, at least place them in bags. Not happy. This could really be a whole series because now you can see everyone's true fucking colors. Comment down below and let me know if there's a seller that you want me to read their reviews on here. Let me know. Obviously, I'm going to do the snake and, you know, the usual fucking losers that I always talk about. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anyone else. Oh, here's another one. 1.5 stars. This is Mariel. Shoes had little to no tread on the bottoms. There was a hole in one of the air pockets and the heel 
one of the shoes and almost a hole in the other. Shoes should have been thrown away. The only thing she, Mariel, said about the shoes were, these are a return. I messaged her, never got a response back after four days. Finally went through whatnot to get a return. So she's selling shoes now. Hmm. Here's a couple for Rosie. Rosie's discount. 4.2. Once again, love this seller in items. I did receive the wrong size in the Black Boyfriend lounge pants. Got a 2XL, but bought an XL. Same person, I guess? 3.8 stars. Love the seller. Although I did not receive the small black cropped cami, would like to resolve this issue. I mean, you bought something and you didn't fucking get it, but you still love them? Like, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, what the fuck? Here we go. Here's a one star. Oh, no. Here's a couple of one star reviews. Received two missing items from my purchase of eight items. Had a packing slip of two items and six were sent. Seller never responded after three days of messages and twice in live shows of me asking for help with the issue. That seems right about correct. I've seen a lot of reviews where people have said that they have had an issue with Rosie and they've reached out to her and have received no response. All right, my phone's at 1%, so I think that that is um, a sign that I need to end this video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, comment down below and let me know whose reviews you want me to read because I will do that because, again, this is great because you can actually see uh, the truth. People can't hide their bad reviews anymore and make themselves out to be a better seller than they are. It's fucking great. This is like the only good thing Whatnot's ever done, I think. And it's fucking funny because sellers are pissed about it. Pissed. Again, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys in my next video.